So today's video is just a quick follow-up on the Westinghouse iGen generator that we switched to uh, about a year ago and we switched from a pair of champions to this 4500 watt Westinghouse generator. Um, we kind of did a review and a comparison to the champions on our previous video which will be in the comments. Um, so we've used this generator pretty heavily for the last nine months ish um, boondocking and running our ACs when we needed ACs in the summer and when the solar wasn't quite putting out enough power for us and overall we're real happy with it it's done a good job we've had two problems with it um, initially the the electric choke stuck a couple times and I went ahead and I sprayed some lubricant on it which required me to take the side panels off which is about a 10 or 15 minute job so I sprayed some lubricant on it and that fixed that problem it has not come back since then and then another time the one of the one of the wires um, came off of the electric start and so I had to take the side panel off and put that wire back on so two relatively minor issues other than that, I've changed the oil and filled it up with the gas and it has run flawlessly. Every time we start it, it works. Um, it starts with the electric start. The battery has not gone dead. One note on that, if you want to keep the battery from going dead, go ahead and turn the main power switch off when you have extended time frames that you're not going to use it. For instance, we're in an RV park right now where we're going to be here for at least three weeks. So I went ahead and shut that off other than the little demo that I turned it on um at the end of this video but i turned it off to keep the battery power uh, otherwise it goes for days and even i've left it on for a week or two and it's not really had a problem it's always started up if for some reason you do kill your battery start the generator up and it will go ahead and charge the battery no issues um some people have asked about the amount of noise it makes now this is a 4500 watt generator and i'm going to compare it to your typical honda 2,000 to 3,000 watt generators that people like to use at the gold standard. We've camped next to some of these people that have had these and at idle, yes, I will give the Honda the nod. At idle, they do produce a little bit less noise than the Westinghouse. However, under load, those Hondas have to work pretty hard unless you spend a lot of money and get the expensive four or 5,000 watt Honda. But under load, um, next door to each other, like running an AC, and the neighbors running an AC, ours is just as quiet, if not quieter, because it is a little bit um, less percentage of the power draw on it. Say that again. So the percentage of power draw is less on the Westinghouse than on your typical Honda you see out there, even when the Hondas are paralleled. And it does run an AC unit for eight to 10 hours, depending on the temperature outside. So you get a full overnight on it, which is really nice compared to our champions. Our champions, we used to, run out of gas like at the five to six hour mark if we had them in parallel um, if it was relatively cool outside they would run all night up to eight hours but this one will run eight hours no problem and if it's only got a quarter load on it thereabouts like if it's supplementing our solar if it's a cloudy day or something like that it runs all day long with no issues so all in all i think it's a good product i would buy another one um, in fact right now last i checked on amazon they were only nine hundred dollars and that price fluctuates depending on supply so sometimes they've got them in stock and they're nine hundred dollars and sometimes they have one left and they're fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars i don't recommend you buy it at that price but at the nine hundred dollar mark i would definitely buy this in a heartbeat no issues whatsoever if you have any questions about the generator the use or how we you know any other experiences that we may have had go ahead and drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as always uh, like subscribe all that good social media crap and if you didn't see the first video go ahead and click on it in the comments thanks for watching alrighty we are going out here to look at this generator and see how it does after it's been sitting for three weeks just to see if the rumors about the battery going dead and it not starting and all that other crap are true so the first thing we're gonna do is reach up there turn it to run and then let's see see what we get look at that no dead battery no issues started right up just like it does every freaking day that we want to run it so 
and you can hear the noise that's at idle obviously it's going to be a little bit louder when it's under load but it's still pretty quiet it's been as quiet as all the cha all the uh the champions all the hondas we've been around so i don't see what the craze is about spending all the money on a honda but this this generator has done quite well and the electric start is really a game changer on it because you can sit inside and turn it on and off whenever you want just like that don't have to touch nothing now i will say if you're not using it for a long time go ahead and make sure you go and push the stop button to turn the battery off that keeps it from discharging we have had no problems with this thing to speak of 